Well, good morning once again from Academic Alliance in Dermatology. They have offices all over the Bay Area. This is the first time that I am here at this particular location uh, with Simhar, one of the nurse practitioners, who is just lovely. And this morning, what I love that we're going to do is really break down uh, skin care and skin care 101. And, and before we got started, you were telling me that these are some common questions that you get on a daily basis that I think it's so important to go back to the basics on this. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for being here. Um, yeah, we see patients all day and they ask me simple skincare routine. What do I need to do? What do I not need to do? So just basic steps don't have to be complicated. They can be very simple. Um, so I have it down to four simple steps. So four <laughs> steps. And the first one is, and I think people get overwhelmed sometimes because when you talk about simple skincare, when you go to the grocery store and you go to the drug stores, there's just so many different products out there. So first step is what? What do we need to be paying attention protect. to? Protect. So okay. the very first step is protecting your skin. Um, it doesn't matter what you use, how much you spend on your face or your skin. Um, you're going to have, you know, wrinkles and sunspots. And it doesn't matter what you do if you can't protect your face. So first step is using a very good sunscreen and um, using it regularly. Especially here in Florida, I would imagine. Absolutely. Florida, all over the place mm -hmm. honestly so patients tell me I never go out in the sun why do I need to wear sunscreen so I educate them sun exposure is cumulative so it's um, from the time you're young mm -hmm. till every day you get exposed to the sun whether you're going to the grocery store for five minutes or you're driving in your car for 10 or spending a day at the beach so you still have to wear sunscreen at all times okay so sunscreen mm -hmm. protect step number two is um, step number two is moisturize. Okay. So you need to hydrate your skin. It's very important to hydrate skin. It makes you look younger. Mm -hmm. It makes it helps with skin elasticity. Um, it hydrated skin. Skin is you know your barrier. So you're giving it extra tension and barriers so it helps hydrate it and then moisturizing it definitely needs to be done two times a day after you wash your face so two times a day what about for those and i know there's a, a lot of you out there they go but i'm oily i don't want to add more to it absolutely actually it balances out oily skin so patients with uh, people in general with oily skin actually have to hydrate because those um, oil glands in our system are secreting extra oil because we think they're they think they're dehydrated mm. and dry so you need to eat even out the skin tone by hydrating it. All right, and then step number three is exfoliate. And this is interesting too. I think sometimes people get a little intimidated by this step. They don't know how often to do it, if it's gonna to be too rough on their skin. What do you want people to know about exfoliation? Exfoliating, all skin types can benefit from exfoliating. Um, so you can use certain products that help you exfoliate, like salicylic acid, glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acid, help you exfoliate at nighttime usually. And basically what you're doing is you're applying it and it removes the layer of the skin. It peels it off so the new skin mm -hmm. has a chance to pop up. So basically peeling off the dead skin of your layer. Um, it also helps a lot for acne prone patients. So it helps um, clean up or unclog your pores. Okay. Before we run out of time, there's that the last step, which is a super important repair. Absolutely. Retin-A is used. Um, they call it retinol, retin-A, tretinoin. They're all the mm -hmm. same. You can use it to repair your skin. It's extremely important to use retin-A. Um, you only need to use a pea size amount at nighttime, but it extremely helps you build collagen in your skin. Um, helps wrinkles, fine lines, sunspots, and pigmentation problems so retin-a is definitely a must so if people though still have questions because again when it comes to skin care I think you just can't answer enough questions right there people are so individual and they want their you know a program that's going to be tailored for them you have a great event coming up we're going to remind everybody one last time about the International Women's Day event that you guys are hosting because this is when you can come and maybe get some of those questions answered absolutely we're having our fourth annual International Women's Day on March 5th and it's there to celebrate women of all types mm -hmm. everywhere um, this 
event is aesthetic, so we talk a lot about how to take care of your skin, and we have live demonstrations. If you're interested in Botox or fillers, we'll show you how it's done. If you have any questions about skincare regimen, this will be the time to come and see and ask questions. You'll have providers, physicians, nurse practitioners, and PAs in the event. All right, well, we will make sure that that information gets on our uh, website as well, and it's easy for you to find out more. Thank you so much. What Thank a pleasure so and a joy to finally meet you. I've heard so many good things about you. <laughs> you. And uh, again, if you have any questions, head to our website or certainly uh, come to the event as well.